All right, hey guys. This is the epic garage sale haul video that I've been talking about on Instagram. And um, we are gonna be doing a giveaway and it's gonna be chosen from the winner of the, um, the winner of the giveaway is gonna be chosen from the comments in this YouTube video. I am giving away a box of wholesale inventory for you to do whatever you want with. You can sell it on eBay, Poshmark, keep it for yourself, whatever you want. But there's lots of rules you have to do to enter to win. Um, so if you want a free box of inventory to sell for yourself, you need to um, go like me, follow me on Instagram, find the post, share it, like, comment, and subscribe this video. And I'm going to choose Wednesday night at 8 p.m. a winner from the comments on this video. Tweety Bird over there wants to get in on the YouTube action. He is very talkative right now. He was very quiet until I started talking. <laughs> Tweety Bird, you're so loud. Hi, Tweety Bird. <laughs> he knows that we're on camera, I think. Um, so let's see if I can figure out how to see the um, chat. Show live chat messages. Yes, okay, so it says that it's showing chat messages. I don't see any chat messages, though, so if you guys are chatting, I can't see it. As usual, I'm super YouTube live deficient, so let's not worry about that. All right, remember, like, comment, subscribe to be entered to win the free imagery. Okay, you guys ready for the epic Garage Sale Hall video? So I'm in my living room right now, and I'm surrounded by all of the things. In fact, I'll just move that a little bit. Um, I'm surrounded by all of the things that I got, and this is over the last two days. I went to probably six to 10 garage sales. I went to three yesterday, and um, I don't know how many I went to today. There were a bunch of little small ones that I went to. Um, nothing really big today. So it's it's really interesting how the kind of things that you find at garage sales, especially like the little tiny ones that um, you don't think have anything at them. And there's a ton of stuff. Hey, flipping more stuff. How's it going? Okay. Let's get started, guys. Okay, one of my favorite things. No, I'm gonna save my, one of my favorite things for later when there's more peeps joining. Okay, so let's see. Um, this one I got today. This is an Optima um, <clears throat> projector, and I think I paid a sticker on it was five dollars. And of course, we never pay sticker price. I think I ended up paying like two dollars for this. It's a it's a really heavy, like nice projector. So that's probably gonna go for fifty bucks or so on eBay, not too shabby. And let's see, I got this nifty little, I got this for me, so I'm not gonna count it in my sales. I got this really cool little um, High Sierra backpack. It's gonna go on my motor scooter, um, cause it's got a little hook thing here and my, my scooter has a place to hook. And I don't have a trunk on my scooter, so I'll be able to put all my crap in here and hang it right there and scoot around and, do my slow-mo cat on a scooter video that y'all have been wanting to see for some reason. <laughs> um, let's see. I got some Eurostep shoes. They're in brand new condition. I'll probably go over the shoes. I will not go over the clothes, you guys. Holy crap. I got so many clothes at these garage sales. I bought out a lady of all of her plus-size clothes. She was so happy. I'm not even going to tell you what I paid for. It was ridiculous. But um, just know I'm going to be a very happy campy plus size, happy camper plus size lister. I uh, got some Converse for a buck. They're grayish, oatmeal colored. Um, I'll put these through the washer because they're a little bit dirty. But once they go through the washer, they're going to come out really nice looking. And I'll get a good chunk out of those. I got a men's Norelco shaver. Um, I paid $2 for this. It's got the charger, the case, the... Uh, the carrying case, everything. Um, I may scavenge the charging cord because I use a men's razor for myself and I can't find my charging cord for some reason. So I may scavenge that. We may keep it. I don't know. may sell it. Who knows? But that's the danger with uh, <clears throat> going to garage sales and finding all this great stuff is um, I always find stuff I want to keep. It's horrible. I got oh, this entire duffel bag full of stuff you guys this is an ata karate sparring bag full of stuff it's got nunchucks it's got sparring gear um it is chock full i paid 15 dollars for that oh my god it's full of stuff that is crazy um 
I got a Verizon Mobile Hotspot 4G LTE MiFi. I paid $2 for that. Um, the last one of these I sold, I think I got like 30, 40 bucks out of it. So that's not too bad. My dogs want in. But they are crazy and they don't need to be in here right now. Okay, this is super cool and I need your guys' help with this. Um, because I've seen on other sites and videos and things that these things go for like a hundred bucks or some crazy amount of money. I paid five dollars for a set of these. I need to know what they are and how much they go for. So maybe you guys can help me out with this. So there are two of these. One's big and one's small. It's this um, Christmas tree thing. You put a light bulb in here. It's got a music box on it. In fact, let's just wind it up and see what it does. Walking in a winter wonderland. I might keep them because I love Christmas. Uh, okay, anyway, so you put this on here and it's got all of the light bulbs are attached here and you put them all in here, right? So I have two, okay, shh, shh, it won't be quiet. So I have two of these, one big, one small. I don't remember what they're called or the brand or anything. I can't find a brand on here. Um, they're an excellent shape. They have everything, I don't know. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be swell. Let me just unwind this. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that to see how much they're worth. Not that I will probably end up selling them. See the dangers, you guys, the dangers of being a Christmas hoarder. Hey, puppies, shh, nobody, wants you in here right now except maybe Aunt Lily. I know you're watching Aunt Lily and you love the dog. Okay, I got two VCRs for a buck a piece. Um, just a JVC VCR. These, you guys, dude, I, I got one VCR yesterday that's gonna go for like a hundred and something dollars. I paid four dollars for it. I haven't priced these ones yet. I don't know how much these are gonna go for. Um, the other one is a Sony. Sony VCR. Now, a lot of people, when they get VCRs, they ship them off to Amazon, um, and they do FBA, and they go really fast over there, but I am scared of Amazon, you guys. I'm not afraid to admit. I'm totally freaked out. I do um, merchant-fulfilled Amazon stuff, only just a couple of little things here and there, like a textbook or just random things I find around my house. I have not done FBA. I'm totally freaked out by it. Not afraid to admit it. Not going to lie. Probably won't do it. I... I don't know, unless somebody can like mentor me and like come over and walk me through it. I just, I got my hands full with eBay and Poshmark already. Oh, Amazon scares the crap out. You too? Yeah, flipping more stuff. Same. See, it's scary. It's so scary. So I probably won't send those into Amazon, but I will list them on eBay. Which dog is scratching at the door? I will cut you. Tuffy? It's probably Tuffy. Anyway, I probably will just list them on eBay. Um... <clears throat> cute little Mickey it's a Mickey sorcerer I didn't pay anything they threw it in with a purchase um, this is actually from Walt Disney Company I may keep that because I'm also Disney obsessed but probably list it I don't know it depends I mean if it's only going for like five bucks I'm keeping it cuz ain't nobody got time to list something for five bucks right okay this is another cool th oh I'm just gonna go through all the games Okay, so we know board games go really well on eBay, especially old ones, vintage, um, make sure it has all the parts, all that stuff. Um, board game parts also go, so if you find a baggie of parts that came out of a board game, snag that up because people will use parts and they buy things on eBay like that. Um, but I have been buying all of the intact board games I can find. I never pay more than a dollar for them. Um, sometimes a quarter 50 cents a lot of these were a quarter um, I got some really cool ones today that I probably paid a couple of bucks for I really ex Tuffy seriously oh my god all my animals are going crazy the bird the dog ah! 
I may have to get up and let them in in a second. Um, okay, so let's just go through all of the board games I got today. Um, this one is American Heritage Broadside Naval Battle Game. Super awesome. I haven't even heard or seen this one. Um, it's a Milton Bradley original one. It's pretty old. I'm excited about that. I have two of these um, first edition Pictionaries. Um, these are going for $20, $25 on eBay. Pay less than a dollar for those. This one's really cool, you guys. I paid less than a dollar for this. It's brand new in the box. The box is just a little munched on the side. Star Wars Trouble. <laughs> My husband wants to keep this one. I don't know why. Probably just because it's Star Wars. It's so cool. But anyway, brand new in the box. I haven't priced it yet. I haven't priced any of the games that I got. Thanks, Louie. I haven't priced any of the games that I got today. Just the ones I got yesterday. This one I priced. Um, this is the original Spirograph. I paid a dollar for that. And that one's going for $20 to $25 on eBay. It's not a game. It's just a Spirograph kit. It's like literally nothing. It, you open it up. There's two Spirograph pins and like the... Um, the little, you know what you got to have to get paper. Just the little spirograph thingamaboppers. All these things. So, I mean, 20 to 25 bucks on eBay. Who knew? So, yep, there's that. Also, just a tip, like when you're at these garage sales and you're trying to price things out, get comps on eBay, do it discreetly. My husband mortified me this morning. We were at, um, at a garage sale and I asked him to look something up while I was looking something else up and talking to the people. And um, he's like, oh yeah, I found it on eBay. I was like, ah, stop talking. <laughs> Be discreet. Pull out your phone and walk away and look something up and don't say what you're doing. I mean, people don't want to feel bad that you're buying their stuff and you're just going to turn around and sell it. Plus, they might charge you more if they know that's what you're doing, right? This is someone's personal stuff. You want to try to make them feel good when you're buying their stuff instead of like, oh, I'm going to buy your crap and turn around and sell it for a huge profit. Thanks. You know what I mean? Just be discreet and thoughtful when you're dealing with that. Just a tip. Just a tip. <laughs> All right. Brand new sealed taboo game. Paid a buck for that. Um... Paid less than a buck for another taboo game, not brand new and sealed. Okay, this one I'm really excited about. This one is all original game pieces from 1961, you guys. I'm just taking off a couple of stickers. From 1961, in amazing shape, this is the original Monopoly, Parker Brothers. This box is not munched at all, has every single piece. 1961, original, right? You saw that, Louie? This is so cool, I am really excited. I have not pulled comps, I, I grabbed it, I just snagged it up. I don't care what the comps are, I'm snagging this up. They're probably pretty good. If anybody feels like pulling comps while you're on this video, um, then comment what the comps are. Very cool, 1961, original Monopoly. I mean, that, that was at an estate sale. Sad, but awesome, right? Uh, another original, Parker Brothers Game of Careers. Um, I don't know what the comps are on this, but it's old and it's in excellent shape. So probably decent, you know, for a couple of bucks. I'm going to make a good profit. Uh, Frank Breezy's Exciting Adult Game, Pass Out. No idea what that's about. I basically bought an entire lot of games they had on this table. They had everything listed at like five bucks, ten bucks. They had that original Monopoly game from 1961 listed at fifteen dollars, and I just offered twenty bucks for their whole table of games, and they took it. So I paid, you know, a buck, two bucks for all of these games. Oh no! I'm creating a game avalanche. No! One moment. Game avalanche. I'm seriously like boxing myself in with stuff um okay I got more games under this pile over here but we'll get to those momentarily all right so I bought a bunch of shoes that had the boxes with them some of them aren't necessarily new but they're in excellent shape um, these shoes went for hundred and twenty dollars when they bought them they could have bought them on sale for ten dollars I don't know but thing says hundred twenty dollars 
they're like new almost I mean you can there's a little bit of wear in the soles but these are Maya shoes with these like weird removable fur tongue thingies I can't find any comps on them literally there's nothing like this on eBay in the current sales or the sold I don't know so I'm gonna have to do more research on this but you know for two bucks I'm gonna make a profit no matter what I list them at so that was pretty good I'm totally skirting around the thing I'm most excited about. Okay, we already talked about that. Let's see, more shoes. Um, just, you know, 75 centers, and I probably got these for a quarter because I always bundle stuff up. Brand spanking new. Um, Comfort Well by Beacon. These are going for $12. You know, not a huge profit, but hey, it's a good profit. Stuart Weitzman. That was a good one. These, I think, were $2, I want to say. Oh, they were a dollar. My bad. Um, these are really cool. These were $210 new. Um, and they're in excellent shape. And they have this picture of a dog on the, on the buckle, if you can see that. Yeah, you can. I don't know if it's like a Great Dane or a Lab. It kind of looks like a Lab, maybe. It's really neat. These are cool shoes. I like them. Um, I didn't even check to see what size they were. S W O S Stuart Weissman. Let's see. I guess it would say on the box. Oh, they're my size. I hate it when that happens. Cool shoes that are my size never end up going on eBay. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, just a cute little 31 brand new um, wristlet wallety pursey thing. 31 bags, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know, one of you 31 consultants will know. What's funny, Louie, my, my uh, shoes never ending up on eBay if they're my size. <laughs> All right, let me pull this pile over. Mm. Oh my God, there's so much crap. Okay, okay, this thing is super awesome. Great finds in, I know, huh, Glenda? I love it. I, I really, I find great stuff, it's crazy. Okay. I'm trying to open the case. This thing is so cool. Let me show you the instruction manual that's inside the case. Padoom! Polaroid. This is a Polaroid LAN camera, model 150. Um, I, I was really excited when I picked this up because I was thinking, oh my god, mint condition Polaroid camera. It still has usable Polaroid film in it and everything. It's got this the leather case. It's got the camera inside, it has the flash. Um, it's got this little baggy thing in the case to put stuff in. The camera itself is in mint condition. This is an amazing camera. So I was really excited when I found this at this garage sale. Um, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, that's gonna be you know a hundred dollar camera, right? Because there's a model, I think it's so this is a model 150, like a 180 and a 190 go for like um, 400 bucks or something like that. Oh, this one's only going for like 30 dollars. I'm so sad. It's, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. So I don't know. I might list it for some crazy price and just see what happens. Cause you just never know you know I don't want to let it go for 30 bucks like if it's only going for 30 bucks I'm keeping this I mean it's awesome so I'm gonna list it for like hundred and fifty dollars because somebody might buy it for 150 bucks you don't know you don't know until you do it right so I'm listing it I only paid three dollars for that camera so no matter what I get for it it's gonna be a great flip even if it's only thirty dollars right it's ten times more than I paid for it so that works for me. <clears throat> okay, check this out. Brand new, in the box, Keen Steel Toed Shoes. These are brand new Keens. These are going for $90 on eBay. I think I paid $25 for these. So I totally paid up for these because I knew I was gonna be able to get some decent money. Um, I know, oh my God, is right, score! <laughs> so I paid 25 bucks, as you're going for 90. I mean, that is awesome. All right, latch hook kit. So this is a brand new sealed in the box wolf latch hook kit. Um, yes, better pictures than the other guys can help you sell at a higher price. Exactly, so true. There's so many crappy pictures on there. It's 
Don't even get me started on the crappy pictures, you guys. I, there's some. I have some pictures that my husband took on there that I'm gonna go and retake. I love you, babe. If you watch this, but we have to just step up your picture game. Okay, back to it, you guys. Don't squirrel me. Um, Latch hook kit. It's a wolf. It's beautiful. These are going for like twenty twenty five dollars um, on eBay right now, and I paid a quarter. So hello, pop it. I lo I had a really good weekend, you guys. Another first edition Pictionary. So that's another twenty five to thirty dollars. That's two of those. Oh my god. Cranium game. I don't think I've ever actually played Cranium. It sounds pretty interesting. This one is really cool. I totally thought this one was going to be going for more than it it is. I pulled comps on it yesterday and I was really excited. I paid 50 cents for it and I'm only going to get like 15. But still, 50 cents into 15 bucks? Hello. Brewopoly. So basically it's Monopoly for beer lovers. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I like that. So yeah, comps were like 15 bucks. Not anything crazy, but nothing to shake a stick at. All right, <clears throat> these are going for like 10 or $15. I just sold one of these the other day. Uh, brand new sealed in the package, 100 CDs. Not too shabby. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what shoes, oh, these are brand, not brand new. Um, Lightly used men's echo driving shoes. I paid $5 for these and I think the comps were like 50 or 60, something like that. So not too bad, not too bad. These are um, Ariat muck boots. If you guys know Ariat brand, you know those are awesome and us horse lovers love them. They're not new. Um, I do need to just clean them up a little bit. Um, also, here's a tip when you're cleaning rubber boots, a lot of times they'll get white, um, it's called bloom. It's like white, gross, like powdery stuff on there. Um, and if you just clean it off with like, um, baby oil, coconut oil, olive oil, whatever, um, magic eraser, I mean, all that stuff works really well to get the bloom off. And, um, love them in the barn, the thrifty nickel. That's right. They're amazing. Like awesome muck boots. So these are actually called, I think muck lockers. Muck, um, oh, Puddle Mucks. These are called Puddle Mucks. So I've already got those priced out. I'm going to make probably 30, 35 bucks on those. Not too bad. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, okay, here's something else that's really cool. I don't have it locked. Ugh. Okay, who knows what this is? It's not locked, so pretend you don't see that. This is um, a Lady Daisy. This is so cool. Okay, so I paid, I want to say, it says five. I think I paid $2 for this. And it's going for like $100 with shipping included. Yes, hair dryer. This is so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. I totally want to keep this and put it on my counter and use it because these are so much better than a regular hair dryer. They make your hair lay super flat and they don't like um, agitate the cuticles so your hair doesn't get all frizzy. These are amazing. You have it and you see them all the time. Yeah, you pick these up whenever you see them. They're awesome. So these are like a hundred bucks including shipping or um, people are charging like $50 plus like $49.99 shipping. You get the point. Um, my husband won't let me keep it. He says we don't have any counter space. Whatever. I will find counter space for this. Ugh, I'm gonna have to list it though, darn it. I try to keep everything that's awesome. Okay, so there's that. Ugh. Oh my God, this is really heavy. Okay, this needs to be, I need to clean the case, but this is a poker chip set. I am going to open this up and poker chips are going to come flying out everywhere. Ah, no. Yeah, I totally opened it upside down. Mofo. Damn it. <laughs> At least they didn't go flying everywhere. Shit, I spoke too soon. <sighs> At least it's not my crazy cat making a huge mess. This time it's me. And it wasn't too bad. Poker chip set. It's really heavy. <laughs> I paid um, $3 for that. I dropped a chip. Ah! 
So yes, I paid $3 for that. The dice is still in the package. Most of the chips are still sealed in the plastic. That's pretty awesome. These are going for like 35 bucks on eBay and I paid $3. bag full it's a crown royal bag full of crown royal bags there's a whole bunch of them in here um, and I paid I want to say oh I paid 25 cents for all of these bags and I'm going to charge 15 for them in a lot so that was a pretty good flip I need to research that um, ATA karate stuff I think I already said that Okay, and then I have mounds and mounds and mounds and mounds and mounds of clothes we're not even going to talk about. I bought a, a brand new Arctic Zone cooler drink thingy, uh, 75 cents for a brand new thermos that has two cups. Um, can anybody explain to me why the bottom comes off and it's, it's like this thing? I don't understand what this is. It's glass. This whole thing is kind of glassy. I don't know why this comes off. It, it doesn't compute. I mean, I don't... I can't imagine you'd have to get in there and, like, clean it or anything. I don't know. I've never seen a thermos where the bottom comes off. Or maybe I just haven't played with my thermoses enough to know that they do. If anybody knows what the heck's up with that, let me know. Because... That's a little quick right? But it's got two cups, which is awesome. So if you're out and about with your your friends, you can somehow, I don't know how my husband did it. You can somehow separate the two cups and have two cups of coffee or hot chocolate or butter beer in my case. Um, yes. Okay, and then I got, never seen, yeah, I've never seen the bottom come off either, Glenda. It's bizarre. One moment, I gotta grab something. Okay. Oh, they just knocked some stuff over. All right, I got four of these. I paid $15 for all four of these. They are going for $25 a piece plus shipping on eBay. And these are the raised bed drip watering kits for your garden. And they're selling consistently. So it's not like one of those things I probably have to wait to sell. And I have four. So yay, very cool. <clears throat> okay, um, and then I got a couple of other like random things. I got a, a Santa Claus cookie jar that I'm not selling because Christmas. I got a tea set for my son because he's obsessed with tea. Okay, the last thing I want to show you, and it was the last thing I bought. I'm going to make sure I got everything. Oh, wait. I also got this brand new Ann Klein like laptop carrying case purse bag thing. I paid two, two or three dollars for this. It's brand spanking new, never been used. Love that. Okay. I think that was it other than the last thing. And the last thing, you guys are going to laugh at me that I think this is the coolest thing I bought. It's string art and it's Harley Davidson. I don't know why I think this is the coolest thing I got all day. But I mean, come on! It's got the Harley Davidson Eagle, and can you guys read what it says? Um, it says Harley Davidson Motorcycles. So Harley Davidson Motorcycles. The person that I bought this from at the garage sale did not know what it said. She was like, can you read that? I was like, yeah, it says Harley Davidson Motorcycles, and that's the Eagle. And she's like, how do you see that? Because I have eyes. It's very clear. Is it clear to you guys? I don't know. So this is the coolest thing I got all day. I have no idea what it's worth on eBay. I paid $8 for it. It's old. It's string art. It's amazing. It's awesome. Love string art. Very 70s. I know, huh? I love it. I'm totally undecided if I want to keep it or sell it, but it's amazing and I love it. I'll probably list it in my Scooter Club website and see if anybody there is interested in it. It's so cool. Okay. So that is it. That is my haul. I will not show you the mounds and mounds and mounds of clothes that I'm surrounded by right now. It, it's ridiculous. So my goal today is to get all of this crapola listed on eBay. Every single friggin' piece in here that I'm not keeping for myself is going to get listed on eBay today. Um, Louie, you think keep it for the Harley Davidson? I know. It's, I, I'm probably going to keep it. I don't know. I'm going to check comps because I'm sure there's nothing like it on eBay because it was homemade 
but I'm going to check comps. Um, so my goal today is to get every single thing in here listed on eBay other than the clothes because I am taking a break from listing clothes, you guys. Holy sh... Holy schnitzel. <laughs> I have a lot of clothes. I have to look thousands of pieces of clothes, which is why I have been wholesaling lots of clothes. Speaking of which, remember, like, comment, and subscribe because I am choosing from the commenters on this video. You have to like it and you have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to have um, liked and shared on Instagram as well, thrifty.crystal on Instagram. I'm choosing from the comments in this video a box of wholesale inventory for free sent to you on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. So comment, like, subscribe, share this video. Get the word out there, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I love doing these haul videos. They're so much fun. I will see you guys next time.